brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. We're going to replace the master cylinder on this 1960 Pontiac Bonneville. Um, tools you'll need are 916 socket and ratchet and extension, uh, a 716 wrench, um, or possibly a pair of vice grips if your lines are corroded. And also if your lines are corroded, you may want to have some extra line that you can bend up um, for the main line. Uh, and then also check out our other video that's attached to this as a response to see how you bleed the brakes afterwards. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to coat these bolts with penetrating oil. And this fitting here, and that's probably going to be your toughest um, hurdle right there is getting that apart. And yes, in case you're wondering, that big air cleaner does mean that this is a tri-power car. Okay, so I let my um, penetrating oil soak. I'm going to just take a shot because this is a California car and use the 7 16 wrench, but most likely Oh, and it did. It actually broke free. Um, it broke free, but what, what generally we find is the best on these is take a set of vice grips and clamp them on there. And that'll go. Now, I'm not quite free yet, because if you watch when I turn, oh, now I'm free. Um, you just have to be careful, especially on these older cars, because they don't make the uh, lines for them. You gotta be careful when you take these apart because the fitting can be seized onto the hose and you end up breaking the hose. Um, this line wouldn't be that bad of a job because it's pretty short and you can probably remake it pretty accurately. Okay, so I've got the line unhooked and I've got the uh, bolts off and I'm just gonna kinda shake and pull. Okay, and pull off the old master cylinder. Okay, to get those seals off, I'm going to use a little tool, little hook. Um, I'm just going to pull out this plunger, um, stick it right in there and underneath, pull them up and out, and then pry them with my fingers, and obviously. In this instance, the right tool makes a lot of difference. Oh, I dropped that one. Okay, pull it out. Okay, and there's the old ones. Just use a rag real quick. Clean up this a little bit. Okay, the new ones, they go on with the solid side facing the cockpit of the car. Put it right on. You can pretty much just kind of do it with your fingers. Okay. Second one, you might need to use, yeah, I'm gonna use the uh, back that off. Here and in. Okay, so there we go. Our new seals are in. Okay, so here's the rebuilt uh, master cylinder from White Post Restorations, um, www.whitepost.com. You know, it's not a part that one auto sells, uh, so we'll give credit where credit's due. And uh, basically installs like the original. Just put it on really carefully. You don't want to just slam it on there and possibly scratch that sleeve or anything. Let's see here. I can actually 
feel it and hear it kind of giving pressure as I try and put it together, which is good. Kind of actually kind of pushing down a little bit on it as it goes in, working it in. do is I'm going to push it on, put a couple of these bolts on, and then I'm going to gently press the brake pedal and get the uh, cylinder seated. Car. I'm just going to, I'm going to gently press the brake. When you're in the car, you want to press the brake pedal very gently and just make sure there's no hesitation, nothing uh, impeding the travel at all. There's a seal on the master cylinder. So at this point, I'm just going to put the rest of the bolts on here and then I'm going to evenly tighten them up. So I'm not going to just tighten one up at a time. I'm going to go about two or three turns on each one so everything comes together nice and evenly here. Okay, we're just going to kind of speed the uh, tape up here because all I'm doing is, like I said, evenly tightening. I'm just kind of switching back and forth between um, each nut uh, just so the uh, master cylinder presses into uh, the brake booster nice and evenly because there is a seal um, and we don't want to just tighten one up and pinch the seal or something like that. So um, I'm just alternating and tightening. So I don't mar the nice finish. Okay, then we'll have to fill it with fluid and then we'll need to bleed the brakes and we should have some good brakes now. Uh, we knew it was the master cylinder because on this car we actually had it um, briefly before the brakes stopped working we had done all the wheel cylinders and the brakes over um, so that the master cylinder went about five, four or five months after that so um, that should put us back on the road. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.